or whether that's whatever solvent you're using. Water is the universal solvent, so it gets used a lot as solvent. So, how many grams of solute I can dissolve in a set amount of solvent? Well, <clears throat> there's three different ways to describe solutions with solubility. There's unsaturated. In an unsaturated solution, I can fit more solute in. Okay? So it'd be like if you said you're making Kool-Aid, all right, and it says add a cup of sugar, all right, and I only added a half cup of sugar. Well, can I add more sugar? Will more sugar fit in that solution? Yes, it will. So okay, that is a solution in which more solute could be added. All right, more solute could be added. So the solution can take more. A saturated solution means the maximum amount of solute has been added. All right, so maximum amount of solute has been added. So it can't fit anymore. All right, if you put any more solute in that thing, it's just gonna it's gonna settle to the bottom. It can't. There's no more room in the in the sol solvent to fit any more solute. All right. So supersaturated is a solution in which solvent has been added past the saturation point. Okay. So a supersaturated solution is solute has been added past the saturation point. Now, in most supersaturated solutions, what they do is they add a whole bunch of solute, heat it up, because you can add more solute if the temperature gets hotter, stir it in, stir it in, stir it in, and then they cool the solution. So if they do that, then that, there's actually more solute than that solution can handle. And so one more little seat, like crystal added in will make, make a whole bunch of it settle out. It's kind of cool. We're going to do that in lab on Friday. All right, so that's super saturated. So unsaturated, more solute can be added. Saturated, maximum amount of solute has been added. Super saturated is a solute has been added past the saturation point. Okay, and our last thing, we're gonna talk about the solubility curve and how to interpret it. So a solubility curve is gonna have temperature on the bottom and it's gonna have grams of solute on the, on the uh, y-axis, all right? And it's going to have all these graphs of these salts, okay? What is a salt? A salt's an ionic compound, because ionic compounds will always dissolve in water, right? Because the light dissolves light principle. Now, you can see what's the trend, Jack, with temperature. As the temperature increases, is solubility going up or is it going down? It's going up. It's going up, okay? And so you're going to see that trend with every salt. Every solid salt will have a positive slope, okay? Now, how do you read this? Well, you can say anywhere where it hits the line, it's saturated, okay? So if it hits the line, it's saturated. So we can say, okay, at 10 degrees Celsius, 10 grams, okay, hits the line, all right? So you can say that KNO3 is saturated at 10 grams at 10 degrees Celsius, all right? So if it's a point on the line, then it's saturated. If it's under the line, it's unsaturated. So if I say I have 10 grams of KNO3 at 20 degrees, then what is that? It's under the line, so it's unsaturated. So a point under the line is unsaturated. A point on the line is saturated. And a point above the line, what if I say you have 20 grams at 10 degrees? That point's above the line, that is super saturated. So when you're, that's how you describe what you're looking at. All right, so let's do one here. What if I say, what type of solution do you have at, if you have 30 grams at 50 degrees Celsius? Okay, so how would I read that? I'd say, okay, I have 30 grams at 50 degrees Celsius, so 50 goes up, 30 goes here, it's a point right there. What, what type of solution is that? Unsaturated. Why? It's under the line. It's under the line, good. What if I say you have 40 grams at 40 degrees Celsius? 
That is saturated, okay? So is it possible to have 40 grams and be saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated? Well, let's look at it. If I have 40 grams at 20 degrees, what is that? Supersaturated. 40 grams at 40 degrees is what? Saturated. And 40 grams at 50 degrees is what? Unsaturated. So it is possible, okay? <coughs> It's just all about the what? The temp. The temp is everything in saturation, okay? And then the last thing is this. What if I have a negative slope? Like, what if I have something that looks like this? Anytime you have a negative slope on a solubility curve, that is a gas, okay? It's a gas if it's a negative slope. Because anything that has a positive slope will be a solid. So solids will always have a positive slope. Some are going to be more dramatic than others. Like some might look like that, some are going to look like that, some are going to look like that. Whatever, it's going to always go up. Gases are always going to have a negative slope, which goes hand in hand because what did I say over here? The factors that affect dissolving, the decrease in the temperature of a liquid in, in a gas, right, will make it more soluble. So as I'm increasing the temperature, that is going to decrease the solubility of a gas in a liquid, okay? So anytime you see a negative slope on your solubility curve, it's going to be 